Hey everyone, more SHOT Show coverage. And this one comes to you from range day and from the you know mind of every pen tester out there. It was really, really wild to have people coming up to me at range day out, you know, outside. This is Monday before like SHOT Show's main floor show. And people are like, hey, oh my God, Deviant, are you here? Have you seen BioFire yet? Hey, Deviant, did you get down all the way to the south side? Go check out BioFire. And I know this company, right? But I just, oh yeah, BioFire's here. But it was really blowing my mind when I ran into like Ian and Ian, right? So if you don't know Ian Runkle, Runkle of the Bailey, awesome person, go subscribe. Uh, wonderful Canadian firearms lawyer. And my, you know, Ian, Forgotten Weapons Ian, right? So loads of you must know Ian. And like both the Ians, they, they walked like, hey, Deviant, how you doing? What's going on? And I saw them and I was like, oh, where you been? What have you seen? What have you shot? And they, again, they're like, hey, you gotta go check out BioFire. And apparently, like, they were having a conversation with them about me. Um, Runkle was like, he's like, yeah, man. Like, I told him that the pen testers are on the, on the range. They're going to come check out your shit. And he was like, oh, send them down. And sure enough, I had a really productive conversation with these guys. Their booth was jammed, uh, partly because the, the throughput, everyone was interested in this weird space gun, right? The way it works, if you're not familiar with BioFire, it is a biometrically locked pistol that uses, it's so over-engineered. Like it has a fingerprint sensor, a f rear-facing camera, all these different sensors, but the gun itself will not fire. It's literally the front sight post. It'll go green when it's you and you're authorized. But if it's not green, like the dead trigger. Everyone's like, oh man, you talk about biometrics and stuff, go check them out. And I went down there and it was neat. They were actually really amenable to talking with me. Again, their booth was really slow because to get people to shoot, they had to enroll every new person. And I'm like, dude, guys, next time have two pistols and have two phones and have two like st base stations. But eventually I got up there, I got to shoot it. There's some footage of me shooting it here. But what was really keen, like it's another pistol, who cares? And I don't even know if it was sighted very well because like half the people shooting like, were like, am I high, am I low? What are my fucking holds? What am I, what am I shooting at? Am I shooting low, left? What the fuck am I shooting? I'm not paying attention, I'm, you're shooting left. Way high. Left. There you go. Jesus. I had to hold it like a foot off the target, but okay. Uh, that's a big complaint of mine at range day, honestly. Like, nobody can tell what they're hitting half the time. A lot of the rifles aren't even, like, sighted in at the distances they're shooting. So you get five rounds, and three of them you send into the berm, and someone's like, no, you're, like, way high. You got to bring that shit way down. Hold it like the, the belt buckle. So biofire, whatever. I shot the thing. What I was really keen on, though, was talking with their engineers. And I was like, so do you have like a bug bounty program? Are you interested in independent researchers? They're like, oh yeah, we've heard of bug bounties. That's really cool. We'd be really interested if anybody wants to like evaluate our work there. They want people to try, because they knew about DEF CON. They knew about Plore and you know, his, all the things that he did to the Armatix. And they're like, yeah, we watched that. We actually saw the hacker world and it's, we're impressed by the way y'all think. So get in touch with us, follow up with us. Now we'll see if they actually are interested in that or not. I mean, you might remember 10 years ago, was it? Tracking Point, the smart sniper rifle, right? Runa and others, like, they took that sucker apart. That was a whole black hat talk and everything and how they could make the rifle miss and change its windage and settings and all that shit. So yeah, seeing a gun company really interested in what the hacker world can come up with, I like that. And you can plan on us following up with BioFire. So if you don't see a video from me in the future, pester me about that one. I mean, we're all, fucking crazy busy at Red Team Alliance and at, you know, core group and everything else. So when that actually will hit our workbench, I don't know, but I look forward to the day it does. And I hope you look forward to seeing what we might come up with if we take a poke at her. One way or another, we want to take a look at it. Biofire, if you're watching, get in touch. I'll reach out to your engineers. I got a business card from you. Everybody stay safe out there, okay?